Khaled, you zoomed yes, out so yes, we could zoom yes, in. Yes, yes, Welcome, welcome, guys, to another episode of Huddle Talk TV. Michael, what episode are we on? <clears throat> episode 37. 37, the 37. Who's a, who's a popular sports figure? Number Do- uh, Donald Duck? Wayne Donald Gretzky? Donald Duck? Wayne Gretzky. I'm going to have to fact check you on that one, bro. You know what, dude? So Mike and I were realizing, I was editing the podcast today. Yeah. So you're constant when we're having a con- when we're con- conversating. Yeah. Okay, you look left. Yeah. You talk outside the microphone, and then we just get a scoop of the audio. Oh. Ah, right, and then you look right. But without a doubt, every time you laugh, brother, you double grip. <laughs> and you look right into the tip. And you go, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Bro, if I cut the audio one time. If I cut the audio one time, <laughs> yeah. bro, Ramadan, you might as well have to do <laughs> Ramadan for the rest of your life. Okay, it's a bro, how, how? But I don't get it though. Like, I, I, I've, I've tried for, to keep up with it. I've tried yeah. to like, you know, make sure that you know my, my lips are on the I mic, just, you know, at all times. We but, know that, especially when you're laughing. But, you know, I mean, yeah, you live and you learn. Right? Episode number thirty-seven. The big thirty-seven, man. Welcome, welcome, guys. Yes, so, everybody that's watching on TikTok, welcome. So I, uh, without without further ado, I was yeah. laughing because I was on YouTube. So you know, how YouTube removed the dislikes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's a Chrome extension. I don't know how this works, but there's a Chrome extension where you can see the dislikes. Really? Yeah. So it's Ooh. still there, and they just don't show they it. They just to you. don't yeah. show it. So they they probably just like patch the like the U, like the UX of it, so you yeah. can't actually see the logic. Why right? do you think they got rid of that? Because of hatred and because and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, people, yeah. people yeah. Were, don't want to see negativity. Right? Yeah. I was dying because I saw one rapper repost his video and said. <laughs> 300,000 likes, zero dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable <laughs> ratio. <laughs> really, that's confirmed as cap. That's the definition. What was of like, it. what do you think was like the most disliked video ever? What was that, that, that was young ba- blonde kid? Rebecca Back, Black, Black Friday. Man, oh, yeah, yeah, but there was a young blonde boy too, and he had like a song or something. <clears throat> Are you talking about the Yodel kid? No, not the yellow kid. That, what happened to him? No, what I, happened? That, to what that? happened to that guy? Brother, the Republicans got a hold of him. <laughs> <laughs> he never made it out. He's been dancing to this day. Dance, boy, dance. <laughs> Get out that table. Dance for Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, his, his feet are probably so sore with all the, no, all, all the blisters in those cowboy no, boots. No, no, <laughs> dancing around. Nah. But man, the, the actual reason I brought it up is uh, I, I was laughing, so I turned it back on, and I was on a video of CBC, right? Mm. So for those American friends, CBC, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. So when the Liberals came into power, they gave them like a billion bucks okay. to put more money into all, everything that they do, all the media outlets and, and you know subsidiaries. And so one of the funny things I realized is when you pull the dislike ratio, there was like 3,000 dislikes to 100 likes. So like people are significantly against it. That's problem number one. Problem number two, they have comments disabled. I'm like the government of Canada. So first of all, I don't care. This is apolitical. Yeah. But for the government of Canada to censor like their their publicly funded news organization yeah, yeah. and not allow comments, a little like, suspicious. What, that's suspicious. Come on, man. That's a little suspicious. You gotta let the people freedom of speech. Man. That's it. Let the people decide. Let Make it a meme talk, or don't. Man. Right. Let them get it off their chest. Pe- man. People are people are always gonna be stupid. Let them speak. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's where content comes yeah. from. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it builds tough skin, bro. But one way, Strikes according according melody. to Nick, according to Nick. Yeah. One way to be a little less stupid yeah. is okay. to read more. Really? You know, yeah. imp- improve it's your vocabulary. True. He okay. came to me a week or two ago, yeah. probably a couple weeks ago now. And I challenged And he said, yeah, you, he's like, yo, do, 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 go, buy, go buy a Kindle. We yeah. need to start reading. We need to improve our vocabulary. And I was like, I own a Kindle. No <laughs> so way. Yeah, I've Plot had a Kindle twist. for years and years Plot and years. twist, okay. But I was like, I have a Kindle and I have lots of books. But a lot of the books I have, I've never read. Okay. Yeah. They're just sitting there. Yeah. Okay. And so I was thinking, our books... One of the biggest items that you buy and never use. What? Yeah. No. They have to be. They have to be in like First the of top all, five. A digital book? Like no, no, no I'm not. Like I'm not, I'm not like talking about. Well, it could be Kindle too. Sure, Kindle could fall into it. But I'm just talking about books in general. Yeah. If you go found all the books that maybe you even have stored. Yeah. What percentage of them do you think you've read? Seventy percent. You think okay, but that's thirty percent you haven't read. Yeah. What other item can you think of that you've purchased at that length? That many, well, but the pro- the problem yeah. is there's like a finality. Point. There's like a finality to books. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's not like me getting any other like piece of clothing. It's just like well, until I've worn it ten times, I don't get the va- extract the value out of it. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't get that book to be like you know what thirty years thirty years down the road I'm going to read that. You got that because you planned on reading that and then and then you had them. You never not. read it. Yeah, it's funny because I was watching like an episode of architectural design. Uh, they just do like celebrity homes and stuff, right? Yeah. So uh, one of the actresses, I forget her name, but uh, she invited them over and. She she had like a, a, a bookshelf, right? Okay. But it was empty before they came over 
to, yeah. to, to film her episode, right? So she made her husband go out and buy like 400 books just to stack up this bookshelf and yeah. make it look like they read books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like Ty Lopez, remember? Yeah, yeah. You know what I like more than this Lamborghini in my garage? Yeah. <laughs> The bookcase behind me. <laughs> knowledge. That guy was a... <laughs> knowledge. knowledge. You remember that shit? No, I don't remember that Dude, one. he's literally one of the first... That was one of the first viral, like, meme. You yeah. know, to learn business, you got to pay for my course. And I'll teach you how to be a businessman. And his whole business was selling businesses to people. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, teach yeah. them how to make more e-courses yeah. and books. Selling courses. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. He was one of the first guys... Right, and I remember there was another episode where somebody exposed him, like a video, oh, and no. he was he was walking around this rented like mansion, like literally on Airbnb, and people were like, you know, somebody rented it for the purpose of their video. They're like, look, I own it too, I'm super rich as well. Wow, right? Plot twist. Go around, fake it till you make it. Yeah, no, that's really what social media is, bro. <laughs> Wait, dude. All, I, and people are what going was, at her. What was the guy? <laughs> I know. Let's not get into too much gas. No, go 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 on. You gotta you gotta we, say this at least. We won't get into too much <laughs> gas, but anyways. Dude, uh, I, and this is this is not one guy in particular. This is a majority of people online. They'll be like, "Yeah, just like live it up and post on your story." You know, thirty days. Like, you know, if you uh, what do they call it? Manifest. Oh, oh yeah, and you got to manifest it, that's bro. A, At the end of thirty days, people are gonna. Lately. If you want to live like a baller, bro, live like a baller for thirty days, and people will think you're think you're a baller. <laughs> yeah, Money will is, come. Which is manifest the most important. It. Yeah, manifest it into reality. Go into debt. <clears throat> Hopelessly, <laughs> assume. Yeah. That somebody will recognize the fact that you're upside down. Yeah. And I'll be like, I'm going to bail this guy out. Yeah. Because he's got clout. Right? It's got to be like Bro, the worst what advice. A, what, a, <clears throat> what a shame, man. The world's coming to, man. So we're preaching fake. We, we're preaching how to be fake. So, What's going on with so, the world? But, 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 but these are not advanced <laughs> problems. These are things that have existed forever. Yeah, no, of course. But. So, uh, okay, question. Because yeah. we haven't started a podcast with any knowledgeable so far. So mm -hmm. I might as well just ask it. Yeah. And it's not knowledgeable either. So okay. Okay, perfect. Um, so the, other day, the, the other day I was walking out through, you know, like uh, when you're exiting or entering a building and there's like a set of double doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So if you're following closely behind somebody, mm -hmm. they open the first set of doors for you. You're behind them. You say thank you. Then they open the next set of doors. Do you say thank you again? Of course, bro. You say thank you twice? Yeah, you say thank yes. you twice. Yeah. Do you, are you sure you say thank yeah, you yeah, twice? Maybe, maybe, maybe if I'm, in, maybe if I'm in the states, I don't bother. But if I'm in Canada, why not? A hundred percent. You're gonna go attack the majority of our fan yeah, base. Yeah, why would you do that? No, watch your mouth. I'm what's not, wrong with Americans, how, bro? First of all, why first, first, of all first of all, watch first your of all, polite people. First of all, you just finished saying to me why that's ridiculous. You shouldn't have to do it. And then I said, if I'm in America, I probably wouldn't. And then you say I'm attacking America. I'm taking your side if I'm in America. Okay. So how am I attacking? According to you, it's the way it should be. No, 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 no. But you're doing it. You're doing it because you're doing it. So it's slighted Americans is how I, I feel about that. I think, I think, I think America is much more individualistic. Big word. I've been reading my books. Yeah, I don't know hey, if it's a real Kindle word. Coming clutch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Word will come in clutch. But yeah. um, I think America is much more personal and they are much more private. Yeah, I should okay. say. So, so I don't think need the need to say thank <laughs> you, you is, say thank is, you. is as much there with common things like opening a door yeah. or holding a door open yeah. for someone. But Bro, in but Canada, like, in Canada, it's much more common, to, at least okay, there, but, but to, to, to put a hand up and, to and say and, thank you twice. Let's, let's, let's get yeah, back to the point. Yeah, I do it. I do it. Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's unnecessary. Yeah, that's no, it's not that's unnecessary. No, it's wasted. I think it's just awkward. Why is it awkward? Because you're holding it for you twice. No, it's awkward to say it again. You feel I don't think it would it, you feel awkward. Why would you feel awkward? Then why would you feel awkward if you were the person that was uh, that they were thanking? Well, if it's not awkward, then why do you have such a problem saying it the second yeah. time? What? what? <laughs> okay, so but but the question is, do you do you trail off on the second one? Do you say it as loud with as much enthusiasm? Probably. Thank bro. you. I know. I just probably hit, I probably just hit him with the thanks. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you def deformalize. Oh, okay. You okay. Got it, you get it. Okay. Because at this point now you're kind of boys. Yeah. You're basically so boys. Yo, thanks, yeah. You, there's no need for the dap them up. The full mm. lingo. It's yeah. just. Thanks. I got you next time. Right. Thanks, bro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> how about how about if you hold open the door for someone? Yeah. And they don't say. And things. then on the return, they just shut the door on you. Ooh. Hold on. Do you yell? I, that's I, never do you happened. open the door back up and yell? Thank you. Yeah, I've never <laughs> no, no, had that no. I, so people weird. don't do that. Yeah, I, I would laugh. <laughs> yeah. I would laugh. Like, I would, you got me. Yeah. You got me. It's never, it's never happened to you guys? No. It's happened to me. Okay, tell us. 
That, that is. That's it. And don't mention any like any race or color, by <laughs> the way. Was it? Before you go into any races. And by the way, it by was a... <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's the, that's all the story. It's happened multiple times. I'm just times curious. Before. I'm just curious. Though. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I hold the door open for someone, and then yeah, they just they don't hold they don't they don't care. They're not those kind of people, you know. But do you yeah. think do you think if you achieve a level of significance, and can you imagine? You know how who said more money, more problems? Biggie, man. Biggie, Biggie. So Biggie said that, and imagine he got to the point in his career where all of a sudden one day somebody didn't hold the door open for him. That wouldn't be a problem necessarily for you or I. Yeah. But like, imagine <clears throat> being at that heightened level of fame. And you're just like, they don't know who I am, do they? No. And now it's a problem. It's a because problem. <laughs> because he's so used to people that opening be... doors, his car yeah, doors, exactly. everything, bro. But that, that wouldn't be a problem that a normal person faces. Yeah. It's just like, you wouldn't even think twice about it. Your brain wouldn't even trigger. Yeah, true. I feel like half of the villains that are created in our world and half of like the rappers who come up with awesome raps and okay. roasts yeah. and stuff, okay. it starts because of little events like that. Little like, events, no respect. The person didn't keep that door open for me. Yeah. Mm. I'm heading to the studio. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My teacher didn't believe in me. Let me, I'm let me to stay in this mental state. <laughs> hey, of course, maybe. Like, like Callie yeah. when the camera is trying to focus. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like keep this level of anger <laughs> consistent. Oh, zoned out. <laughs> till that microphone turns on. <laughs> oh, man. Everything's motivation when you go into yeah, the studio, yeah, yeah. bro. Facts, facts, yeah, facts. Yeah. You get some killer ideas, but you got to wait till the studio. That means the whole drive, you're going to have to make sure you zone out. Yeah. yeah. Or you got to zone out. It. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. zone out now so you can zone in later. That's Dude. that's that's so why it's major key. To write your own rap, <clears throat> so you can write them down and have them for later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. all you ghostwriters! Not a problem, Drake has, huh? Uh, wow, well. no, no, definitely not. He writes all his raps. Yeah, so <laughs> I, 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 what about the what about the revolving door? What was that one? The what's it called? Man? You don't hold that door. You no, just you keep moving. It, but if I'm, you, I'm asking, but yo, have you ever had where somebody tries to squeeze it? Yeah, and then they get <laughs> boinked. <laughs> <laughs> they get boinked. Uh, bro, yeah. what are you doing? Just to, chill. Just wait, like two it, seconds. I know, right? It's just like you timing, <clears throat> right? Trying to get in. People have so much problems just trying to make it on time. Yeah, like, bro, it not, even, not, not even, yeah, not even right? just that, but when it comes to driving, it's not even the same, but it's kind of similar. Merging? Yeah. Not just merging. There's there's so few roundabouts in Canada. Yeah. And Canadian drivers have such a tough time they understanding really roundabouts. Yeah. They're so easy. There's not many. Where no, I know. There really isn't, especially yeah. in the GTA. There's like nothing, basically. Yeah, there's you, only a, a couple. You keep driving, and you don't hit the person in front of you behind you. Mm -hmm. That's but they're every, you, go, you go, you go uh, I think, even in Europe, but, but in the U.S., there's roundabouts everywhere. You're constantly coming up to yeah, roundabouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, I, I, I mean, when uh, I lived in the Middle East, that was just normal. Like everybody, mm -hmm. had, even in Europe, yeah, UK, Facts. all of that stuff's normal, bro. Facts. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember the chair girl from Toronto? Uh, yeah. Oh my God. God. Remember that Canadian heritage moment? Yeah. On TikTok, do you remember that Canadian <laughs> heritage moment, yeah. the chair girl? Whatever happened to her? Where's she at? These so days? I looked up an article because yeah. I was like, you know what? That would be blasphemous if we bring her on. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And <laughs> so yeah. I looked it up. Apparently, she's constantly getting Hopefully, flown. we can knock some sense into her. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> uh, well. Excuse us? We don't hit women. We, that's no, not, we, bro, yeah. not literally. Wait, what? Not literally. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> it's 2022, right? I'm going to cancel your ass. Bro, no, knock, knock just so, no, no you, uh, listen, if you just said, oh, we're going to knock some sense into her, yeah. but you said, we're going to knock some sense into her. Yeah, I emphasis. did not emphasize it, on yeah, the Yeah, you really emphasis. emphasize <laughs> the knock. Your emphasis is on the aggression. You're trying to portray yeah. me as, bro. Yeah. <laughs> trying to do me. So, yeah, but she, Let's go back to her, she's man. Been flying, she's been flying back and forth, apparently. You guys are playing for her trips between like Miami and Toronto and all that. She's out of here. Her. She's done. Miami, she's, Toronto. Yeah, she's milked it, man. For she's what, done. bro? For, for I don't know. She's just a thing, and she got you know famous, and she's yeah, out of here. Good yeah. for her. She good involved her. in some Canadian uh, heritage moment. Yeah, uh, TLC matches. TLC. Yeah. <laughs> what do what you mean matches? Tables, ladders, and chairs. Is this, a, is this a is this a midnight show? What? Like, <laughs> tables, midnight ladder, what? tables, ladders, and is chairs. Snakes yeah, and ladders. Or what? Honestly, is snakes and ladders. ladders and chairs. WWE, bro. Yo, snakes and ladders. <laughs> Snakes and Ladders teaches you exactly how life is going to work when you grow up, eh? Yeah. If you're always in the lead, you're always going to catch that big snake to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I feel like we should bring that game back. Yo, that that was. Can you imagine Snakes and Ladders with money? Bro. If you could, can you what? Snakes and Ladders, but with money. How would that work? I don't know. But you just, <laughs> yeah, we got to figure it out. <laughs> You just, bet on it. It you just bet on it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Bro, you know what? Yeah. You guys are going to get something here because I'm just rolling. I just wanted yeah. to start today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Don't chuck on that tea. Yeah, let me just take a sip of this tea. Let's go. Let me get uh, my thirst Local quenched. Up. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Knock some sense in the those. U.S., and I'm, I know it's been talked about here with certain politicians, Yeah. they like to always bring up the idea of a permanent daylight savings time. Yeah. It's, it's like a part of... PTSD. 
<laughs> it's a part of some of their campaigns. Yeah. yeah, you know, economists say this will be great. They actually went, they did permanent daylight savings time back in the early 70s. Okay. Okay. And when they did it, they, the plan was for two years. They didn't even make it to two years. They had to stop immediately. Why? It was during Nixon's era, I believe, because it was a disaster. For First what of all, reason? because at certain times of the year, for months on end, they were going to school and it was pitch black for like four hours. What? It was okay. like, it, not, four, not four hours, but it's essentially they had to give, no, I'm being dead serious. They had to give all the kids these crazy fluorescent like vests, all this stuff on these kids just so they could be seen and not hit by cars uh, and anything else, maybe buggies <laughs> back in the 70s. Buggies. Volkswagens. <laughs> Volkswagens. Scooby-Doo bus, yeah. <laughs> but they had, to, they had to nix it because people, people were uh, completely messed up and certain states actually didn't, didn't even do it. It was like a state by state thing, yeah, I guess. Yeah. That That's why you have to have buy from decided, all time zone. But else. like everyone was messed up. People were missing flights because in other this, other things in okay. other parts of the world were in the seventies. We all know everybody was stupid. It was just full of cocaine. Sure. And they didn't have How, pagers. And if, and if you and if you decided no to do phones. permanent daylight savings time now in US or Canada or wherever, how would it work? It what would mean be, everybody's would got be a smartphone a, in their pocket. No, I know, but it would be a friggin disaster. Again. Wouldn't. You want you want us you want that during the winter. Yes. Do you know how d you who wait, talks about wanting more sunlight? Wait, don't talk me into this. <clears throat> I'm not. I don't feel strongly about this. Yeah. So don't don't make no, me. No, but pick I think the point of first of all, there's no perfect situation that we're in. Even the current system, there's flaws. Of course. But I think that it's mostly common sense that it's the best there's always that they've been be able to come up with. Yeah. There's always going to be a problem, but this is about the best that they've been able to come up with that makes sense for the people. Permanent daylight savings time, they did that for a year plus, yeah. it and work. it was a disaster. Well, it people work, just yeah. like to complain, man. Even if you made it, like, okay, we're getting rid you of it. Everybody would be like, yeah. oh, there goes our sunlight. Yeah, right? We yeah. need it back. Who even how, voted how for this? How can you really win? Yeah, exactly, yeah, man. People are just whiny. Yeah, You know, it's, it's what drives the world <laughs> forward, You right? can't please anybody. Everybody, if, actually. If Elon Musk could figure out how to power cars with hatred and whininess. You would do it. It, we would have infinite we energy. No, yeah, we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't need all that uh, electric cars, bro. We're just off of the hate, bro. The hate keep me going. <laughs> the hate, the hate get, keep me going, bro. That's it. 100%. I was expecting when you went. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that about the like savings time. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I, I China mainland from your iPhone. I'm getting a phone call from China mainland. Excuse me? Declined. That's a hard decline, bro. <laughs> What the China hell? mainland. What's going on in China, bro? So do you guys remember um, when we were talking about shawarma joints and we said, listen, as soon as you start putting your shawarma restaurant on a bus, yeah. you're doing too much. You guys, now see, Aziz, yeah. you guys now see pretty much every single bus that exists in the GTA has a realtor on the side of it. Yeah. And they're all five star realtors. Yeah. And they're all doing the most. <laughs> right. All doing well. Yeah. But that's I, I look at it. Anytime there's a realtor on a bus. Yeah. You're doing too much. You're just officially doing Bro, too why, much. Why do that when you could just go on TikTok and, you know, <clears throat> have your drone and, and you know, like, yeah, that's it. Give us a full right, house right? tour. That's I it. sold this house. Yeah. yeah. And this yeah. house. <laughs> you don't need 5% yeah, yeah. for your down payment of you your house. You only need this. <laughs> right? Oh, it's so yeah. stupid. Yeah. Bro, it's doing the most, man. Exactly. Yeah, 100%. But I would rather see them on a bus than on TikTok. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Because you can avoid them. <laughs> You ain't got to go outside, fam. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> just stay in the crib, 100%. You know what I would pay good money to see? What? If there was like wrestling, but it was just realtors fighting. <laughs> you know why, they already fight over listings. That? Why would you say that? I just think it would be funny because it would actually have to do work for once. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> We're true. going after people. <laughs> stop, stop. Stop. Michael, say another article. Say another article. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Guys, so, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was just saying, when when you moved, well, I mean, you're back in now again. But when yeah. you moved away from your parents' house, yeah, did your consumption of uh, fruits and veggies go way down, or fruits? Veggies still get consumed. When I moved out, well, did it yeah, go down? yeah, like. Obviously, fruits are uh, fruits, fruits are pretty. No, I think fruits, up, fruits, fruits can be kind of pricey. Yeah, no, yeah. I think I, definitely not fruits. And it's like it doesn't necessarily yeah. fill you. No, no, I know veggies is still no, consumed, yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah. fruits. I kind of just every time I go in a grocery store, I walk right past. Bro, it's expensive. Yeah, it's don't like don't I'm not even considering that. I know you were just talking about the grapes you got. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> like them grapes, huh? Okay, but mm. apples. Okay, the crazy ass thing I learned about them. Okay. Right. The average age of an apple in the grocery store, how old do you think it is? 41 years old. It's got a okay. mortgage. How, how long ago? It's, got, how it's already long, divorced. How long ago do you think it's been? It's, it's already been picked. At least three it's years. A, a month? You say three years? A yeah. month? 
a month. The average age of an apple in a grocery store is 14 months old. What? Yeah. It's been sitting Because it's been waxed, months. vaxxed, and... It's been waxed. It's been sprayed with chemicals. Yeah. And it's been stored in a cold room just to keep Flash it good frozen. enough. Yeah. And then by the time they put them out uh, on the on the aisles... Yeah. It's about four on average. It can be anywhere from like months. nine to not sixteen at Whole months. Foods. Not at Whole Foods. No, no. I even, can't believe this. Even even in Whole Foods, the thing is, there's only like <laughs> there's only like three months of a year yeah, where, yeah. where where apples are going yeah. to be ripe. Right, right, Especially right. Especially when you need the frost for some of the sweeter exactly. apples. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah, quite quite honestly, and they say too that even like. I know when you're a kid and stuff, you just eat the apple with all the skin and stuff like that. You just bite into it, you eat it, whatever, right? Your your yeah. your mom or whatever sends you with a lunch bag to school and you got the apple in there. <clears throat> you just eat it. Th- they say that the amount of pest, even when you clean it, the amount of pesticides on the skin is I can crazy. Imagine, man. And you're supposed to technically, when you eat an apple, you're supposed to like cut all the skin off and yeah. just eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just eat. But I never did that. I never did so, that. Honestly, yeah. it's, all, it's all right waxy, it. man. Like it's super waxy. Uh, what was with that? Uh, growing up, you remember every cartoon they had like oh. Every apple has a worm in it. You got to make sure you check it. Oh, yeah. That? Have you then ever had an apple worm? with a worm in it? Never. Bro. I've never. I, I have. I've never, I have. Did you actually have an apple? Yeah. Really? Tell us. Yeah. When, well, where was it? At school? Like, what, how okay, so happen? the yeah. problem is, like, if an apple hits the ground, yeah. worms will go in the apple and, like, maggots and stuff. Okay, so you picked up an apple off the ground and I tried didn't. to eat it? I didn't. I... <clears throat> Perhaps bought one. Okay, you bought that one. That had been picked from the ground. Okay, right. but then you can see a hole in the apple. You should be looking at your yeah. apples when you're honestly. Buying. No, I don't really be looking at my apple like that, bro. Do you not check your if eggs? Enough, Do you check your eggs? X-ray. See if they're cracked, uh, bro. I don't yes, actually yes. like that, bro. Of course, yeah, but I don't. So what's the difference between an apple and an egg, bro? Okay, but do you X-ray your eggs to see if there's a little chicken inside? No, before just you purchase check them? to see if there's a hole. Then what? <laughs> okay. I just I just look at the aesthetic, bro. Is it good? Is it like it's, it's is it right? nice? Is you it know, curvy it's, enough? Yeah, it's curved. Do you ever sniff yeah. it? Do you ever do sniff test? It's aesthetically pleasing. Yes. To, to an egg. Damn, this royal yeah, gala bro. thick as hell. Yeah, man. Look at this apple, man. Look at, look at that thing. Look at that thing. What are they called? Old nice grandma's shot. apples. Old yeah, oh my or red granny. Red granny. Red granny. Is that what it is? Goddamn! Shout out our ginger granny. Can you imagine like just a trap guy? I was a trapper. Turned to apple picker. Right. I'm moving weight. It's a different type of weight, though. Dude, he grows the thickest <laughs> Granny Smith. So what happened? Granny Anyways, Smith, you bit yeah. into this apple and what? I, bro, at some point I realized, <laughs> I oh, there's it. a bug in here. <laughs> like, what else is there to that story? Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Okay. No, that apple's bugging. Uh, yeah, that's bugging. <laughs> that apple's bugging, man. It's bugging. <laughs> you have to stop. <laughs> Yo, but literally, so here, here's, and Michael, it's so funny that you say that. Okay, yeah. so 14 months on the apple, that's fucked. But here's something that's really like annoying to me. So I was telling Michael I was complaining. Yeah. I was like, man, I went and got a <laughs> we're such boomers. I got a bag of grapes yesterday. Yeah. It was on sale, yeah. right? It was like two dollars a pound. I'm like, yeah. okay, sure. Like, <clears throat> how heavy is this bag of grapes, yeah, bro? It's, it's light. Yeah, it's light not work. even that heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I got to the cash register. It was five dollars. It was half price. A normal bag of grapes is like ten dollars these days. <laughs> and then literally, dude, I went to Walmart the next day and I got a bag of sugar. I'm like, a pound of sugar is two dollars. Yeah. Why don't people just people need to boycott candy and boycott fruit? Just go straight for the sugar, dude. Literally. It's two dollars a pound. Just eat spoonfuls of that. That's ridiculous. The dentist bro. industry and the fruit industry, those guys They're are corroborating. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, just eat spoonfuls of sugar. Everybody's doing the most. Oh, I need grapes. Like, no, just Oh, I have a I have a great free sugar and some TikTok ice cubes. clip idea. Okay. What? We can sing, we can dance, it'll be great. We go to the grocery store and we specifically okay. only buy a watermelon and a pound of sugar okay and when we're scanning it we just dance watermelon sugar <laughs> you're trying to go viral get Cal- 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 you're officially the Bacchus one again <laughs> I, tried, I tried right. to take my place back <laughs> you're officially the blackest one Mike you're officially the whitest one yo what's going on Mike this order has been restored what? tell us some of the stuff you were telling us pre-pot huh? come on fam <clears throat> if you can make your body odor smell like anything what would you make it smell like ooh cocoa butter that's nice. That's Vanilla. What are you going with? Armani. Vanilla. Oh, guy, of course this, you this would. Guy, Armani, bro. bro. This guy, Armani, bro. Come on. I smell so good. Come on. You like? <laughs> I, said, I said Armani, bro. I, I was just laughing. I don't even know what that smells on, like. Bro. If that's the case, I'm going to go with some Dolce & Gabbana. I, 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 assume, I assume like you see a picture of David Beckham. That's what Armani oh, smells like. Yeah. Right? I don't actually Remember know. those back in the day where they had... Beckham on the uh, on the cover, and then he has like he's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, what? I don't remember that, but I'm glad you do. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called like you gotta in, bend it like Beckham, bro. And the, and the insert you fold it out, you go, <laughs> yeah, you sniff it. Maybe I will buy that one day, right? Wait, how, how old is Armani? 
I don't know. <laughs> How am I supposed to? Armani is Armani that? named after an actual guy? I'm assuming. Armani is, is a guy. That's what I'm saying. Like, who is Calvin all Klein? These, Historically, all these, who, yeah. all these brand names. I know bro, who is, is Armani. It's their names. Armani. Who, who is Armani? That's a good question. You're bro. asking us this last one. You're <laughs> acting like yeah, but you're you said yeah, it's a guy. Like oh, uh, it could be yeah. a female. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I don't why it could just be anything. They don't have to name the company after a guy. The guy could name a company. It's a name after a person, bro. So so listen, 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 listen. Every designer brand. Is, Hugo is use, uses their last name. Hugo Boss. Prada, Gucci. Come on, Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> did you know <laughs> that, on, that? Did you know that a, a vast majority of the actors, actresses that we know, yeah, their names are not their real names. What are you talking about, bro? Both first and last. So you've Why been doing some research to Why figure not? out Why what the real names are. There's actually a ton. Really? What There's about Nicholas Cage? I uh, I don't know about him specifically. Yeah, I would be, really but I mad. wouldn't surprise me if that's not his real name. Yeah. No, I'm being, I'm, I'm actually being serious. Oh, I thought you were joking. No, I'm being okay, serious. Okay, okay. <clears throat> yeah, God, like on the spot, I, I, I can't think of too many. Obviously, J Jamie Foxx. Is his that real funny? Name? A funny, his real funny. Name's not Jamie Foxx. His real name is not Jamie Foxx. It's not his name at all. But the funniest thing is when you're an actor, or or when you go into TV or or movies. Yeah. You have to sign up with like SAG. Um, the Screen, screen Actors, Actors Guild, Guild Award. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You have to like put your name in. Yeah. It's also a rule with the Screen Actors Guild that there cannot be any more than one of the same name. Mm. So a lot of actors make up their names. Really? What do you mean? So that the, uh, they have duplicates? No, they they're not allowed to have duplicates. Oh, okay. So Jamie Foxx, the Jamie Foxx that we know, yeah, which is not his real name. Okay. Made up his name as Jamie Foxx with two X's or whatever at the end of Fox. Yeah, yeah. And he's in the Screen Actors Guild. Then another J Jamie Foxx, who is actually named Jamie Foxx in that spelling, went to go sign like sign up. Couldn't had to change their name. Are you serious? Because they wouldn't accept Jamie Foxx. It's a snowball effect, bro. Yeah. What the hell, man? You just ruined <clears throat> this guy's life. His mom and dad <laughs> ruined took, his life. Took some great time in naming <laughs> yeah, this guy. I actually, I actually feel like it's a yeah. female. I think the second Jamie Foxx is a whatever a female, he, she, him, yeah. whatever, whatever it is, man. That's, I didn't know that. this day, man. You know what movie I think is hilarious, Tom Cruise. dude? Tom Cruise. Tom, that's not his real name? Not, neither Tom or His real Cruise. name is Thomas Cruise Missile. Not, neither, neither Tom or Cruise is, uh, are his names. What is, what's his real name? Um, Mila Kunis, not a real name. Ashton Kutcher, not his what? real name. What? P. Diddy. P. Uh, Gigi Hadid, not a real name. How's that not her name? <clears throat> None of them are their names. Bro, what is it with people switching alias. up their names? It's, he just told you. <laughs> Why though? Why are they doing this? He bro? just told you. No, I, they shouldn't be doing it, bro. <laughs> this dumb rule. He just went through. This he started rule, with this dumb rule. This dumb rule. They gotta wipe it out, bro. <laughs> Let people keep their names, man. Damn it! What the hell's with this you rule? Bro? Your beef is with the screen actor. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You guys are the yes. worst for clipping. But it's like, it's like it's like it's like uh, I don't know. I guess it's in certain cases. Yeah. Some of the actors might not have very marketable names. What do you mean not marketable name? It's 2022, <coughs> Some bro. of their names are really bad. Like what? How can you have a bad name, bro? Uh, oh, another one, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Not his, not his real name. Unless your name is Dick. Okay, you just okay, told you, you're saying this guy picked Joaquin? Yeah, uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> it's their bad names. Oh, and Joaquin Phoenix, not a real oh, name. Yeah, that, bro, that's definitely that's just, really marketable. I'm sorry, Joaquin. <laughs> What? <laughs> bro, it sounds like a Harry Potter book, man. <laughs> Not a fucking movie star yeah, name. Yeah, what the hell? Just, that's funny, man. You just defaced your whole argument. Bro, I, I would... Man, that, that's just pissing me off. But get, you know what? I'm going to segue out of this, bro. <laughs> that's okay, crazy. Segue us out. Segue us out. Did you know, did you know did you, another one? Okay. Shakespeare bro. was not his real name. What was his name? Was William. His name? William. William was, but Shakespeare wasn't. Okay, what was his real Why, name? Where did Shakespeare come from? Well... <laughs> What's the uh, what's the what's the disease? Uh, oh, leprosy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy said leprosy. No, 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 no. Um, so shingles. When William was in was in the war, yeah. his mm. weapon of choice was a spear. Okay, but he was really shaky. Okay, so you're making it up. <laughs> okay, just confirmed. confirmed. This confirmed. guy, bro. <laughs> that that part was made up. Yeah, hundred percent. That part was made up. Okay, okay Ali, what's, what's your best? William, I'm gonna make a shake for you. <laughs> So, is that your explanation? Shake that spear. Well, no, no, that was that was made up. I made up the William Shakespeare. Part. <laughs> yeah, but right, everything so else wait. was real. Okay, so his, <laughs> wait, 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 how far does this lie? He did have arthritis. <laughs> okay, how far does this lie go? So Shakespeare's not real either. The Shakespeare no, I just part? said the Shakespeare was a joke. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But the, but, but everything else is real. Okay. But apparently, somebody, how far somebody back does this lie go for yeah, Shakespeare? Huh? Yeah, somebody goes through it for him. Wow. I heard that rumor. I don't know. <laughs> when was so we really? Are you sure? I can't substantiate this. 
but but honestly, I heard it. Yeah. That, was it Drake that uh, ghost ghost wrote for? Yo, okay, but no. But listen, why why does every English teacher love Macbeth and Shakespeare bro, and Midsummer Night's Dream and oh, why was that the go to book? And, and they bro. make you everybody has to read like Why couldn't a we just read Captain Underpass? You're gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Why, 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 why we have to read Exactly some BS bro <laughs> doth this yeah. on my bosoms. You have <laughs> loved me. Bro, come on, man. I'm not trying to read all this formal English, bro. Yeah, I, th- yeah. I think you all just right. started a new subgenre. <clears throat> yeah, people right. really listening to. Audible her, by Trap Guys. Yeah, right. Her her botham was thickest as hell. <laughs> just, imagine my, it's, it's a little imagine, mix between Shakespeare bro, and Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson would be perfect for narrating those stories, bro. Perfect, bro. Mike Tyson narrating her Shakespeare. Tweaking. She, <laughs> she's thick like an evening myth. <laughs> Call him my. Yo, Little man. halfling bit. Bro, they, they should have gave us the choices, bro. How about this? You give us 10 books. Okay. All right. I'm not and reading any get, of them. We, uh, you know what? To be honest, I ain't reading any of them. Yeah, you're right. To be honest. What was that uh, website we used to go on? Uh, Khaled, to, 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 give for us each, 10 for books. Each, for each chapter. Remember? We used Spark to, notes? Oh, uh, good, no, good, no Goodreads? No. Was Goodreads? Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. But, notes, no, notes. no, no. But yeah, there was, there was a... I know what you're talking... Anyways, go that ahead. That used to summarize every chapter, yeah. remember? I know you I didn't did. read any book for no, your book reports. I did. I did, of course. You've, you've did you? Of, yes, of course. I've read. read the whole book. Yes. Be honest with yourself. I 100%. I, why would you? Sh- why would you shortchange yourself? What do you mean it's shortchange discipline. yourself, bro? There's, there's other things. I used to get <clears throat> give the best book reports. Really? Yes. It was, an, it was enthusiastic. <laughs> it was entertaining. Mm. Why are you laughing at me? Why are you trying I to thought you me? were going somewhere else with no. that. Oh. I used to give the best blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's fucked. <laughs> this guy's. That's what goes to your head, huh? <laughs> this guy's mine is in the gutter fact. Oh, yes. Gutter fact. So, so, do you guys want to hear a fact? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Um, so there was a. Uh, People from Cornell University. Mm. I think Dr. Duma works there. But they were saying <laughs> if, if everything was to escalate with nuclear war, they would, they would be about 6,000 warheads, um, like all of them, mm. if they were all launched. Basically, a, obviously, a significant portion of the world would die immediately. And three quarters of the world's population would die over the next two years. Really? Yes, from radiation poisoning. How messed up is that? Yeah, that's messed up, man. So if you survive, like, you know how in all the zombie movies, like the nuclear holocaust, mm-hmm. like the yeah. nuclear winter, mm-hmm. you're pretty much, like, guaranteed to die a very painful, slow death. Yeah. So you either die right away or you can barely escape it. So how, oh, that's yeah, that's wild, man. I was watching a video on TikTok. They were talking about how to survive, like, a, 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 a nuke. <laughs> okay. My Tell bro. us more. Tell us more. Well, like how Give us an in-depth <laughs> of this channel. What the person so, look like? So they said, first of all, first of all, they oh, said, okay, when, when, okay, so basically, you'll you'll see the initial explosion. When you see that light, yeah. you won't have enough time. So you got to make sure you get on the floor, okay. lay down, cover your ears and your eyes, right? Uh, make sure because of the noise, right? <laughs> Who's bro, listen, man? This is what they your, said. Bro. Lay down on the floor, cover, cover your, your ears and your eyes. Yes, okay, and what else? And then, and there's then, still some more holes left. Yes, when the <clears throat> when, when, when the yeah, of course, there's a lot. Of <laughs> 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 All right. So once sounds so, like a good opportunity. W- once, once, <laughs> once things blow over, oh. right? <laughs> Literally. Oh. All right, you're supposed to seek like uh, like underground refuge. Yeah, stay yeah, there yeah. for 48 hours. Okay. Because apparently, if you try, let's just say particles uh, will if drop. You get, if down. you get yeah, if you get out and decide to look for family or try to find an escape, right? You'll obviously die. Uh, freaking, uh, what's it called? Uh, whatever, whatever this guy is called. <laughs> this was in a 30 bro, second TikTok. Whatever, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody should start a podcast. <laughs> bro, I, was, <laughs> bro, I forgot the word, bro. Uh, what the hell is the word? <laughs> Not, every, the Not everybody should have their own podcast. The no, the no you die of radiation. There you go. <laughs> Man, the, the only moment. word that you had. Man, the was, he said. Listen, you died. It was a uh, freaking. Damn, bro, what was the name again? Uh, you should. You should have read those books. <laughs> <laughs> should have read That's those. That's what happens when you're skipping, fam. Oh so, anyways, so the guy's like, "All right, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna survive a nuke, bro, just lay down on the floor, cover your ears. <laughs> he was a white guy. Cover your. He ears. was a white guy. <laughs> cover your eyes, man. And once things settle, you know, make sure when you're going out to uh, seek refuge, you know, <laughs> you don't." Go out right away to see your family and look for help because you'll die of radiation. So make sure you go find yourself some underground bunker. Stay there for about 48 hours. <laughs> it's getting better and, uh, the longer you go. Once you get out of there, <laughs> yeah. then you probably have a chance to survive. 
I don't know how to verify this shit, bro. But most of these things come on TikTok, and you're just like, yeah, all right, you whatever. Can't be verified. I'll try it when a new kid. Oh Did my god, guys? man! <laughs> Did you guys know that when uh, baby corn is separated from other corn at uh, at birth? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really bad. For how the corny is about this about to get? <laughs> You guys run out of jokes. Not everybody should have a podcast. Yeah. Yo, why does everybody say that, bro? Why can't we just vibe? Why don't you just let us live and let us get these jokes off in peace? <laughs> yeah, if you want a mic, I'll get you. No, no, no. I, I, I let it let it stay. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, remember Monsters Inc. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, go yeah. in and they get the energy from the scream. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Elon Musk is gonna have figured yeah. out how to get energy from those mean TikTok comments. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna use it against <laughs> you, damn it! <laughs> Not everybody should start a podcast. That right. could power the city for like seven hours. The hate is strong, fam. The hate You're is strong. You're only making me stronger. <laughs> it's only making me stronger. <laughs> Yo. You, should make, you should make, bro, I, I swear to God, we should make one response to like any of those. This is not everyone should have things. <laughs> not everyone should have a podcast. A podcast. Uh, and then call it, just make a, a response. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You remind just, me of a girl. You remind me of a girl. What? What? A girl. <laughs> no, dude, why don't you go into song, dude? Rub it on makes you, Yo. makes you yeah. sing, oh God, eh? Man, man, you're you're freaking making me so mad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man, bro. So, but you know, in uh, in, in Norway, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's oh, a about to, about to go. go straight into a fact, bro. <laughs> okay, make I'm sure you to talk to the mic. Man. Get this thing out. Talk to the camera. Let's go. In Ro- in Norway, there's a retouch photo law that's been passed, making like basically retouching your photos, editing your photos illegal for influencers and stuff without stating that this photo has been a- edited? edited. Yeah. Wow. And uh, it's basically just to make sure that people, you know, spread body positivity, make yeah. sure people are like, you know, mental health, you know, like a lot of these things is like people, they set a standard and make this you know, a standard for beauty. Yeah. But it's not, you know, all this fake shit, all this editing and all that stuff. It's not a standard for beauty, you know, yeah. like, so it instills the confidence <clears throat> in people. They don't have to worry about all those stigmas and I got to look like that and I got to look like this. At least, you know, your favorite influencer has touched up their photo a bit. Yeah. And you know, this is not the real them, you know? Yeah. So there you go. No way. Shout out to you, man. Speaking of like photos, <laughs> speaking of photos and <laughs> speaking of photos and social media, What's with all the like, uh, like fobby? I don't know, brown dudes who you know every IG post they they take, they're never looking at the camera. It's, Where it's they a, look? It's a photo. They're on always looking to the side. Yeah, yeah with their side do- side mm-hmm. profile photos. Hundred percent. It's but it's their go to. They don't have a single photo. Bro, of because stem I, straight eye on. contact is taboo, fam. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Don't just make things up, dude. <laughs> Or they're sitting on the hood of their car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Confirmed. My Honda Civic, huh? Yeah. Honda Civic, dude. Yeah. So back back at the dealership. And I wish like I'm not I'm not even being racist. This is the honest truth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very common for these guys. There would be like four dudes who all want to get financed because they're all students. They don't have jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would all want to come and get financed on one Malibu, like Chevrolet Malibu, so they could run Uber together. Like yeah. like constantly Rotate keep this the car. Cars? Yeah. What the hell? Between like four dudes, it was a constant thing. And so you'd have That's like crazy. four or five dudes coming and showing up just to get wheels, all from Sheridan College, no job. <laughs> five guys and they still can't find it. Were they approved? No. <laughs> well, so, but they would all like they would all gather like four grand each. You know what I mean? And yeah, then they yeah. make the the amount that they need. But it's yeah. just like they're running that car into the ground. Four yes. guys rotating yes. that. Mm-hmm. Yo, good luck. That car getting no rest. Keeping the economy going. Facts. Yeah, the car is getting no rest, bro. Do you guys um have you guys ever heard the first of all? Do you guys listen to radio ever? At all, no, even just for like the contests and stuff. Not at all. I just do on my way to work. It's like a fifteen minute drive. Um, sometimes there's some like good quiz shit that yeah, I, just yeah, li- yeah. I just that's what I listen to. Sure. It's not for yeah. the music. I just listen to it for that. <clears throat> and then a little bit at work if someone has like one of the radios on. Anyways, there's a segment every morning on can't remember the station, but there's a segment called Bad Advice. And the purpose of it is every day, every morning, one person will uh, call in or text into the station. A situation that they're going through and the radio station will post it to their listeners this is what this person is going through and we're going to get the advice from callers and it's bad advice because these yeah. are not professionals that are giving advice on you know life situations yeah so this last week i was listening to one and the caller who called in about their situation was uh it was it was during uh, april fools so it was on april fools and he faked his uh, uh, wife's like pregnancy test mm-hmm and but faked it to be positive i guess because he was expecting they already have multiple kids he was expecting her to 
react in like a scared manner because they didn't really want any more kids. Yeah. <clears throat> but she reacted incredibly excited okay. to this to this boss. She's like, Oh my god. That's so I'm so up, I'm so happy. So now now he's in this shit situation where what do I do? Uh, just don't he's, pull dug, out. he's dug, he's dug got, himself a hole, no, right? No, not really. Just don't pull out <laughs> tomorrow night. <laughs> Fix it yourself. I can't. <laughs> but she's not pregnant. Yeah, get her pregnant. <laughs> okay, yeah, bro. I, can, I guess. <laughs> I guess Do you get the joke? Yeah, do you get do it? You do you get it? it? Now? Do you, do get, you it? get it? <laughs> like, <laughs> Damn it, Mike. So instead of instead of being honest with her now or being like it's April Fool's, like I'm so sorry, that was a sick joke. Yeah, he ran with it. He decides to keep continue going with oh, it. Oh man! And I guess she later finds out. Maybe she tested again just to make sure. Yeah. Or they went into the doctor, and it came back negative. She's she's not pregnant. And so they, she's like, wh- how, you know, she still can't understand. She still can't comprehend or put together two things that it was April Fool's when this happened or, it's a or that her husband's yeah. an idiot sort of thing. And so he starts the narrative that she just recently got the Pfizer vaccine and Pfizer supposedly brings back false positives on <laughs> on, uh, on, a lot of pregnancy, on pregnancy tests. <laughs> so somebody so gave this advice. That's the, no, that is the scenario that this guy is in. Yeah. So that's what they put forward to the listeners to give the bad advice. And so people were calling and just, it was, people weren't even like giving bad advice. They were just like, this dude's a friggin' idiot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. honestly, you, you, he could have he could have left that joke <laughs> long ago. Like he could have oh, got yeah, out he of just, it. He, he dug himself a hole yeah. and then he dug he himself almost, a hole. What's, what's one thing you don't do when you're when you're in a hole, bro, let's keep digging. Yeah. That's what he's doing. That's he's digging. <laughs> he's digging him deep. He's digging deep. <laughs> Real deep. He's digging deep. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's safe in uh, this one. Oh, no. safe. Nobody. Nobody. Man. Man. Uh, facts. But, but uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> here comes the transition. Go and, uh, here comes the fun fact. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and transition over here, man. So uh, it's 2022. In, uh, that's okay. Yeah, man. In uh, yeah, you're right. In, uh, <laughs> in Japan, uh, so women are actually uh, renting out boyfriends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, sign you, me you up. Can, you can. You uh, can. I mean, yeah, you can rent girlfriends too. But whatever floats your boat. No, but uh, I'll just be one of the boyfriends. Don't okay. rent a boyfriend. It's rent a boyfriend. Uh, Why the fuck not? Dude, that sounds just, sick. You just no, no. You he got you. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 I did. Got him. Sign me up. <laughs> you just got it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's not what I. <laughs> in 4K, brother. <laughs> we got you in three. No, oh you my God. <laughs> <laughs> it only hit when he's like, and girlfriends too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love it. Okay, okay, keep going. You gotta so, re- restart yo, the fact. Restart the so fact, yeah. though, because the so, flow yeah. is gonna be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in uh, <laughs> in Japan, yes. uh, women are renting out boyfriends now. Wow. Yeah, so they're renting out boyfriends. Yeah, so in Japan, women are renting out boyfriends now. Wow. Yeah, so you have to. Okay, Mike, you fucking ruined ruin all of his clips. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's the what's the sound? Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god. Keep going! Keep Holy going! Get this cow, fact bro. out! Get this fact out! Okay, god, restart. Bro. Get this fact out! Get your gear, gear, gear posture oh, right now. Let me get me right. Let me get me right. Yeah, reset <laughs> posture yeah. too. So, in Japan, okay, women are now renting out boyfriends, right? So with with these. <laughs> So tonight you can rent out Michael for about sixty dollars. <laughs> oh my god, bro! No. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Just, so guys, in uh, in let me let me get this out, man. Okay. So in Japan, women are now renting out boyfriends. So obviously, Crazy. with the the hectic work schedules that everybody has, yeah, um, they're finding that they're not having time for that you know, romantic uh, aspect of their lives, right? Yes. So they're going out and renting out boyfriends. Some nights it can run you like 500 bucks, you know, depending on what you uh, get from this guy. <clears throat> and obviously, obvi- it's, it's not like there's any sexual things that is included or nothing. That's not crazy. Nothing. But uh, basically, the, the guy would take her out shopping, be there for her, cuddle yeah, with boyfriend. Her. He's like literally just being activities, wow. right? He's getting paid to exactly, simp. Yo, exactly. that's actually getting crazy. Paid to simp. 
you know, and uh, that's, that's actually a, it's move. a huge but thing. But that's such an easy so job using, for a yeah, day. Yeah, You're making crazy money for such an easy job. Bro. There's like no like, stress with that. The stress have, is so much. And they have rankings of like the boyfriends that you want. Like they have a whole catalog. You know, who gets rented out the most and stuff like that, you yeah. know, and you get to pick and choose. That's and stuff like crazy. That. Yeah. Five stars. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's nuts. So they're doing that because, you know, like they're trying to build that, uh, you know, like experience in, 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 in the uh, dating world, you know? Yeah. So, Man, cultures yeah. are so different around it's the world. So, it's, it's, so it's like a trial run. It you gets your yeah. practice and exactly. figure out what's important exactly. to you. We should try getting that, that started over here. That's, that's crazy, man. Yeah. 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 Would you sign up? Um, You know, as the guy with the girl. <laughs> So escorting. I'm the one being I paid. Cl- I'm the one clarify. being paid. Yeah, you're the one getting paid. I'm the one being paid. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. He's the one sending the feet pics. <laughs> <laughs> not, not asking for you, it. Do you think you can Don't make mind these calluses. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long week. <laughs> You think you think you could sell the feet pics? Like you think your feet are that good, good looking? Wh- mm-hmm. what? what? Do I think I could sell feet pics? Yeah. Do you think you could be a hand model? A foot model? Well, okay, those are two different things. No, both. <clears throat> um, I could. No, anybody not can. a hand model. Anybody not, can. Anybody not can. a hand model. Yeah, anybody can. No, no, no I could be a foot model. Can, I could be a foot model. Not anybody can, bro. Tell us your there's criteria. A, there's a certain aesthetic, bro. Your your nails got to be uh, trimmed. Yeah, but uh, you, okay. So give yourself a month to get them into yeah, yeah, preparation, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and then most, people, most bro, people you know can they be re- hammered. Reject people because guys' you're, hands you're too are a little stubbier. You're too though. Guys' hands are a little stubbier. Yeah, yeah. or or sometimes can be veinier. Yeah, yeah, veiny. Do you remember back in the day? <clears throat> yeah. um, I don't know if you guys had this at your school. <laughs> right. And you know, somebody at recess would be like, "Hey, check your nails. Check your fingernails." Yeah. And if you checked it like this, they're like, "Okay, you're straight." Yeah. And if you went like this, like, "You're gay." <laughs> Really, that was the thing. That was the thing. If you checked your hands like this, your fingernails like this. Yeah, I remember there was a thing where if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. Was that a thing for you guys too? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. And, and yeah. do, do you know? And then you put your hand on your face. Like, wow. <laughs> so uh, so what about so what about the You're girls? What about the girls who have like six inch nails? Yeah. What about them? all their hands are going to be bigger in the face if you count the nail? That's true. Mm. The scratch factor. So they all got cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. just not just the square squir- squir- sign. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <Four That's scopes. laughs> okay, I'm gonna rescue Yo, this. this. I'm gonna rescue this. Yo, okay, so there's, the there's a non-surgical implant that can help <laughs> overcome obesity by killing cells, uh, producing ghrelin, the hunger hormone. So I don't know if you guys know that when you're hungry, uh, your body releases this chemical, ghrelin. It basically will tell your body, "Hey, it's time to eat." So you, it's a fat shaming implant. Ex- okay, slow, slow your roll. Slow your roll. <laughs> you gotta slow go your right rolls. <laughs> Listen, this fat <laughs> or burn your rolls. <laughs> this obesity hormone could be suppressed. Yeah. Do you think this is something that uh, like the world would accept? Why not, bro? I think it makes a lot of sense. It would. Yeah, I, I think would. I think the world. Would Imagine something. being able to eat whatever you want and knowing that there's an implant down there that's going to make sure you don't get fat. And at, well, at a certain point, the portion would be like, okay, I'm done. I'm you know how many mukbangs you'd be involved in? Sounds like they would be very tiny mukbangs because yeah. you, you you wouldn't have an appetite. I mean, I think I would. Knowing that that's in, inside me, I'm eating everything up. I'm if I clip the up. first, if I clip <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, that's wild. <laughs> if I knew it's inside me, I'm eating everything up. Yeah, gobble, gobble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Khaled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it! This whole, by the way, this whole podcast is a front. I'm creating an archive of clips to prove that you guys are gayer than me. <laughs> That's just, I got the receipts. <laughs> the, tic, the TikTok following Whoa. is great, but it's not what we're here for. <laughs> when the world asks, I will have receipts. One hour's worth of video. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How we should. Yeah, the last one, you talking about the Chipotle burrito. I stuffed that shit. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I got like probably six Yo, minutes yeah. now, Mike and I. Oh, my God. It's bad, bro. It's bad. You set me up. But go ahead, man. No, that was it. You kind of ruined it. My bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, man. My bad, bro. My you don't, you mean but burn you know, your rolls? Well, go ahead and name me a country's flag that has the color purple in it. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. This is a TikTok video. No, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Purple? purple. Purple. Yeah. Go ahead. That's such a strange. Go ahead. <clears throat> I know where you're going with this. So go I'm ahead, man. It. Just go ahead, bro. None. I can't think of any. Bingo, because they ain't in. And why they is that? Ain't none, bro. Because basically, so say, say what, from what, the beginning. Okay, yeah. So there's there's no no country has purple in their flag. Okay. Because it was too expensive to add the color purple. So basically, it required using a small like uh, sea snail 
that you could only find in like Lebanon, like a small region. Yeah. And it would produce like that purple color. Yeah. And it would require like maybe 10,000 of those to actually dye the flag with that purple color. So it was just too expensive for people to even use. So they, you know, nobody <coughs> actually used it. How, how can we confirm this fact? Go ahead, confirm yeah. it, bro. Dr. I was going to say, Dr. I was going to say, have you ever mixed colors? What a red and blue. No, back, th- back then, though. Back then, they that's how they dyed well, things. Back, what back, back, doing back it, then, back then, it, back then, they all the countries it. used to just have flags that were black and white. Yeah, black. And before white. color was yeah. a thing. Yeah, before color was black before color was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah, don't. Be, people always miss that fact. So, so, yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. <laughs> percent. How did how they miss that, fam? How how they miss that? So this is a fact confirmed. Yeah, confirmed, bro. Go ahead and Google it, bro. Do your Googles, bro. Dude, if you want to know a random fact, yes, we do. Is that uh, how much do you guys know about Venus flytraps? A ton. <clears throat> Nothing. Oh, do you? Do you actually know about Venus flytraps? Probably more than most. Okay. Did Zero. you know? Did you know that they can only snap so many times in their lives what do you mean i didn't know that so i believe it's only three times in their entire life that true. they can open up and snap um and each snap they have a certain amount of petals okay and the petals will fall <clears throat> but essentially if a human gets into contact with a with a venus flytrap and is kind of messing messing around with the situation mm-hmm. they can you know, shorten its life dramatically by sticking their fingers in its. Well, yeah, they can they can do clothes. certain things that will make it. Yeah, snap. Yeah, mm. and I can't I can't even actually recall exactly what what the average length of one's life is, but yeah, those those things those things are weird to me, man. They are very weird. <clears throat> yeah, super weird. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I like that one. I like that fact. I remember, uh, yeah, growing up, that was always a thing. You would buy that at the greenhouse, and they'd always have like crazy branding on it. Yeah. And you get it, and it'd be dead in a week. Right, and you think, well, it's because you fed it one dead fly one time. Like, yeah. How come it's not closing? And then you try and close it like a stupid little kid. Yeah, yeah, I've been there, done that. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's dark. That's dark. <clears throat> really dark. Not as dark as uh, oh, Amazon's yeah. new worker chat app. Ooh. Ooh. So Amazon has decided that they want all of their work communication to be done on an app that's proprietary. So, you know, every, every company nope. has, like, has like Teams or, or yeah, Zoom yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever <laughs> right. or Slack. <laughs> so they decided they'd have one that was completely owned by Amazon so nobody knows what they're talking about, right? So part of this uh, part of this app, uh, they've already found out. They just started putting it in. People found out that certain words are banned like union, restroom, pay raise, and plantation. Get out. Pay raises, pay raise and pa- grievance, slave labor. This is dumb. <laughs> Living wage, diversity, vaccine, amongst other words. No way. They're That's blocked. It doesn't let you type them. <laughs> Yo, that is actually messed up. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, okay, well, everybody can. And, and the idea is, like, I guess even when you're on the floor, you're not even gonna have your phone on you. I'm sure they're very strict yeah, yeah, working in a warehouse. Sure. Yeah, not having they your phone have yeah. those kind of words banned. Uh, using a phone on on the line is probably exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So who in their right mind is ever gonna be talking <laughs> to their coworkers using this platform? There's zero shot that I would ever Big download if, I, if I worked for them. I would never download this app. So they said the main goal of the program was to reduce attrition by fostering happiness among workers and also productivity. Yeah. No. Nope. Huh. How about I just get your number? Eh. And the whole point of the app is they want to gamify shoutouts and reward systems where employees are rewarded with virtual stars and badges for activities that add direct business value. Mm, employee of the month. How nice. So there's two sides to this. I think it's really interesting. Okay. Number one, I think Amazon, they're painted in a light here where they're never going to look good. Obviously, if they're censoring right off the gate, it's a terrible thing to do. Mm-hmm. But I do think what's going to be really interesting is the gamification in the workplace environment. If you think about it, most companies... And I I have a hard time like knowing why um, you know Salesforce big CRM companies haven't done this already but you're probably going to start seeing gamification in the workforce so making it fun like for example in sales like yeah everybody gets paid if you hit your bonus right yeah but there's going to be like certain things like go three days without selling a car mm-hmm. or you know this guy is the master at selling people you know from an existing lease right it's like the same thing with Amazon you're going to get scores you're going to get like just like Xbox achievements. Like imagine you're you're on not off for one month. Your first thirty days working there, you're gonna get an achievement yeah. saying perfect health, <laughs> right? And then you're gonna want to strive for that for the next six months. But yeah. it's true. Zero, I know. Zero I know. It's, but it's true because people yeah. will spend six it's months crazy, of Call man. of Duty grinding for a skin yeah. but like a gold gun. But now in Amazon, it's the same thing. Like imagine, same, yeah. imagine you don't you know you don't pull a sixty for six months. Like at a certain point, nobody's enjoying the grind. Even no. in their own free time. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no. So it's the same thing too. Like if you gamify workplace goals, and I think that's going to be a big thing, man, in the next couple of years. And it's going to hugely transform the way people like, like see, see work. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
But it has to have like, uh, there has to be like some tangible rewards. You can't just give me. You can't add tangible rewards, but also don't underestimate the the power of the scoreboard and competition. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. And gifts. Well, yeah. And gifts. Yeah, you I did went, a great job today. I went sixty <laughs> days without using a sick day. Oh. But okay, Bro. people would collect those achievements. <clears throat> people would collect those achievements. Or if your first know, overtime. I think. I think. I think. Not, uh, with today's day and age of yeah. people like actually caring about them themselves and 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 really like going out to 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 invest in themselves but yeah i think it's gonna f- be hard for people to accept things like that like i don't think okay. they'll be lured by you work by at the airport like that. you work at the airport yeah. yeah i'm working with a marketing company yeah. that has redesigned all your criteria on yeah. your job guess what one day you show up to work you're the only guy on the team who hasn't stopped somebody who's carrying a concealed weapon mm-hmm. you don't have that achievement all your other peers do am I getting paid in two weeks sounds sounds like sounds like you're sounds like you're breaking down and uh, explaining the police (sighs) now you guys you guys have no idea okay so and first of all you're still living because we haven't talked about VR yet you're still living in the physical world yeah you're right all of your co-workers are gonna have skins now because they've stopped you know somebody carrying a concealed weapon yeah right you're gonna get an achievement as soon as you bust somebody with a shampoo bottle that's got too much ML of liquid, yeah. you're going to get an achievement for that. And you're going to get custom TSA glove skins, right? Now, all of a sudden, you're going to get gold gloves, right? I can see it. Now, all of a sudden, all I your coworkers it. have it, and you're striving to make sure that you catch somebody. I can see it. I can see it. Perform a full body scan. I can see it. Custom skin. Mm. The tangibles, man, don't underestimate what people are willing to do for a skin. It's Bl- true. Blow their back up for a custom oh, yeah. skin. They'll t- <laughs> They'll take it. I'm telling you that much. So anyways, now I got my VR pound of flesh. <laughs> yeah, bro. Every week. I have to. Mandatory. Broken clock. Yeah, 100%. <clears throat> might be right twice a day. Yeah, especially in VR. It could happen mm-hmm. a couple times True. a day. Big facts, big facts, big facts. Oh, clock. Yeah. What, uh, did you guys know that year-long cruises are a thing? <laughs> year-long cruises? Yeah. No, year-long. I didn't. Yeah, I you, tra- no you travel around the world. I had no idea. On a cruise. Okay. Makes like... I don't know, 150 stops across what? the seven continents. Are you working during this cruise to pay for it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like, are you? No, I think it's like a, it, it may be like upwards of like a hundred thousand dollars or something yeah. for, the, for the cruise. Yeah. But like you know, like Royal Caribbean and stuff. Those they offer anywhere from like nine to twelve month cruises. Wow. And yeah, it travels around the world. But when I hear something like that, I can't think of anything more depressing. Why? <clears throat> I get that you have 150 stops. That's that's about an average of one stop every three days. Yeah. Or two and a half days. Right. That's depressing. That's just That's, you might, you're, you're, you're on the jail waves. on the water. You're you're in jail Literally. on the water. Yeah, there Literally. are things to do, but oh my god, you're gonna lose your mind. How many times can you go down? And I bet those stops aren't that long. Yeah. I bet those stops that you get out. Oh, you're out for two hours, three hours. Like yeah. you're losing your mind. Imagine the waves. I'm you, what I'm do you at, feel it? What are you talking about? The waves. Uh, some of the weather conditions, I'm sure, would get. Well, yeah, maybe you're right. You're right. Always looking, you're never going to see like a linear. Especially you're going plane. across the entire world. Yeah. That's crazy. That's true. I I don't think that would be such a bad thing. I honest. just I just don't. I guess that seems like the easiest way for some to be able to see or say you saw the whole world, even though you haven't. You're just you're not. You've traveled the well, whole world. Though. Well, yeah. It's a way of saying you've traveled the whole world. Well, re- have you really made memories? Like, no, you haven't. The water no. the whole you've time, you've bro. probably crazy. been in your cabin, waited in lineups. It's gonna be something, yeah. something in your brain messed up at the end of that year, man. I can't even. I'd I wouldn't be, be able to do it, man. Uh, Seasick for sure. <laughs> well, especially, especially too. It's just like you, you're planning, like you're charting a course of adventure. There's no adventure. It's not. It, it's it's a scheduled routine. It's like okay, we're going here for two days. You can't get farther than fifty kilometers from the port because you know we're gonna be docked, and you got to come back. Like it just it becomes like. I don't know. It just it's like loses glamorized babysitting. Pretty much. I think I think I bunch up these these two things together yeah. in regards to tourists. But one thing that I've never quite understood is the people that love cruises and love like uh, Mexico, Bahamas, yeah, yeah. Jamaica, Cuba, whatever. You know, the resorty places, beaches. But like that's their one time a year vacation if they go. And like that's the only thing they can imagine or picture. It's like, how about go to Croatia? How about go to Japan? How about go to Iceland? Yeah. How about go to Australia? How about go to Indonesia? How many more countries can you name? <laughs> many, but not in Africa. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's, it, I don't know. Like, I just feel like there's a real lack of adventure in that kind of no, community. And they're just looking for like to relax, I guess, for one or two weeks a year, brain off. which is like fine. And don't get me wrong. I've been on a cruise. It, it can be fun. Like a one week cruise. It can be fun. I've been to resorts on the beach. It can be fun. 
It's not that I don't enjoy them, but it's like once every five years is enough yeah. because there's so many other things to see and actually do. Or the people that, you know, say, oh, yeah, I've been to Mexico. I love Mexico. They've never stepped foot in Mexico. Have you you, you were port, you yeah. were with 500 other white and black people uh, with, with you know, 50 Mexican workers who speak English at a resort. Yeah. And you never stepped one foot into the, Mexico. The one thing, so I'm not, I've never been on a cruise. I don't really think it's that exciting. No, no but, it doesn't. But the doesn't one thing so that I think is really cool is I love the operations of them. Sure. And um, I was watching a show. It's called like the, the biggest, world's biggest or whatever. And it was talking about like the operations between the shift changes with all the all the people who are working behind the scenes. And what I love is learning about like the, the food, like how they prepare, how they get groceries, like the amount of That's pounds. Good question, yeah. Yeah. And they always tell you like, oh, there's like 40 you know pounds of like way, obviously way more than that. Like 40,000 pounds of potatoes, right? That are going to be consumed this week. And it's really cool to see the amount of like fridges and walk in and all these big cruise ships. There's a huge like uh, tr like corridor basically at the bottom of them where they're constantly moving things in and out, pallets and all that stuff. It's mm -hmm. like their service tunnel, which yeah. is really cool. But yeah, man, the, the operations behind some of these big ships like significant. And obviously, every time they go to port, they have to restock on things. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, oh yeah, it's and they got to do it in a short period of time. Yeah, but that's like all stress. like prepared and and yeah, yeah go go go. But. Yeah, and in terms of like a cruise, because I've been on one and I kind of know what it's like, it's basically... So you're speaking from privilege? Yeah, I'm speaking from privilege. Mm. <laughs> it's basically Sounds one... Sounds about white. <laughs> Sounds a little white to me. <laughs> huh? It's it's basically um, one big resort on the on the ocean. Bro, all okay. I... When or I or hear if cruise, you're on like a Mediterranean... When I hear cruise, like all I can think of in my head is lineups. Because mm. you're all not lining really. up for The only cruise that I acknowledge is Tom. There's not... <laughs> And, and he'd been lying about his name too, <laughs> yeah. but no, it's, 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 they make sure they have a ton of activities for anyone of all ages. How to many do. times can you go down a water slide though? Yeah, man. Honestly, I think it's more for the kids though. But yeah, how many times can I, would go down water slide? I would be judging, judging a 40 year old you, man yeah, if yeah, he's going down that water slide. Okay. What? More than once. Why? Huh? Why are you being ageist about water slides? No, I mean, just some things you just got to... Well, because the water slides typically don't, how big it is, don't fit right? anything more than kids. Yeah. Yes, they do. No, I mean, on, these, on, these, on, oh, these, on these cruises? On the cruise ships? Yeah. Okay. okay, makes sense. Excuse yeah. me. I'm the one speaking for privilege, for privilege here. Yeah, okay, sorry. Mm. Thank you. Khaled. Yeah, I got something for you guys. Thank you. Say Guys. it to the mic. All right. Okay. I'll say it to Mike in the mic. Okay. Okay. So in Italy, guess what? They're actually going after employees that are not showing up to work. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's actually a huge problem. What do you mean not South, showing up to work? In, in what does South, that mean? In South Italy, like people are actually not showing up to work. Why? It's a huge issue. So in uh, in this case, there's a man that hasn't showed up to work for 15 years. And he's okay. Been, <laughs> and he, yeah. He hasn't been showing up to so work I'm for assuming he's years. fired? And he's, no, he's still on the payroll. He's been well, getting paid the whole but time. why is it up? Yes. What? So, no. So obviously the first director noticed that this guy was not showing up to work. Okay. So she tried to obviously report him. Obviously. And, <laughs> and what happened was she said she was approached by men that like, obviously like, you men know, threatened, black. Threatened, threatened her, yeah, you know, mafia. to, to not report this guy. Yeah. Okay. Whatever it is, wh whoever it may be. And she basically shoved it to the side. I okay. need and, this man on my contacts and, list right now. I need to figure what? out his secret. He slipped through the cracks when the new director came and nobody was actually looking for him. Okay. You know, so HR, apparently, there was some people in HR that were aware of it, but didn't want no problems. So there's like no clocking in at this business? So wait, so the Who's clocking, clocking in, him in? Exactly. So they said they have a huge issue where people were showing up to work sites with using umbrellas to cover their faces and clocking in on behalf of employees. Wow. So it's a huge thing that's going on. This is an elaborate. Yeah. And, yeah. and nobody at this business was ever looking for him it's for a anything. It's a hospital. Yeah, they were... They weren't looking for him. He got he fell through the cracks, until eventually they found out about him, and he made over like six hundred thousand dollars. Uh, six hundred thousand. And can, I don't think they can even really come after him because it's their fault. At the end of the fault. Yeah. I mean, I think they they're going after him because of like obviously he probably sent some people to threaten this director. Yeah. How do you prove that? How do you, yeah, how how you, how you prove proving that? it? Yeah. 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 So I mean, bro, it's, been a huge, another. it's a huge problem apparently in South Italy. I don't know. Wow, it's that's crazy. crazy where did you where did you get this article? Yeah, yeah. I right. always I, I'm sorry for always doing this because yeah. I always I always am just as interested as where you're on, finding this stuff. This one, this one I got on. I think it was on the BBC. <coughs> BBC, bro. <laughs> I, I just looked down. 
you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dr. Doom over was affiliated. You That's know, pretty crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm but. surprised, though, honestly, that like they would put up with that, but it makes a lot of sense. Bro, 15 years? Well, the amount of people who go to their job and pretend they're doing their job yeah, anyway. I mean, <laughs> it's basically the same. <laughs> he might as well be at home. Yeah, <laughs> it's the know? truth. Taking it's the funk this whole time. It's yeah. the same level of effort. Yeah, it was funny because they were saying that there was even a doctor that right before he actually got a... Uh, uh, he was like the head of the do- uh, like head of doctors. He got promoted before he got promoted. They sh- they actually found out that he had a huge problem with his attendance as well, as well too. He was yeah. missing for like a couple of years. He was missing his <laughs> afternoon shifts. Couple of years, bro. It's a huge problem apparently in Italy. That's I crazy. didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. their afternoon they go for coffee and then they just never come back. That's it, man. I do yeah. f- I do feel like uh, the unemployment rate in Italy is really bad, but I could be wrong. But I, I but know. I do think especially probably post COVID. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I feel like that's one. One country, do you guys, and they're an older country yeah. too. They have a lot of old people. Got a you lot guys, of history. Do you guys think they do that you know they they should actually incorporate like naps into like work hours? No, like giving people nap hour. Why would you do that? Why not, bro? It's a thing. How far, Wait, can, in, you, in how Italy, far can you? In Italy, they'd ha- they'd have to have it done in Napoli. Then. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good puns are not funny. Puns are not, puns puns are not funny. I love puns. What do you mean yeah, puns, puns aren't are funny? funny. Puns, puns are, are awesome. Puns, are the the lowest lowest puns, puns make dads feel at, at home. Puns are yeah, the lowest exactly. form of humor. Yeah. Exactly. Come on, how? They're just not how? funny. What about Big Pun? Yeah. What's that? He's a rapper, bro. Is he? Yeah, he passed away. Do you think his like that was his short term name? Mm. For like Big Punishment, that was his actual name, his I Hollywood think that's name. What it was, I think I think actually Big Punishment was the. There's no <laughs> well, way. Like, who knows, bro? I TLC to, tables, ladders, and chairs. chairs. There you go, man. I like it. WWE World, bro. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, wait. What did TLC stand for? Bro, tender love and care. Okay. Yeah, but you know, touch licorice children. What? Excuse me. What? When? What? Never heard of that one, bro. What are you talking? Never touch, heard touch licorice children. Yeah, I've never heard of that. What one. does that even mean? Yeah. That's just three words that don't even belong, <laughs> any of them together. Touch licorice, children. <laughs> okay, now it sounds like it makes sense. It sounds like some... some tender fam- loving care, you said, right? Yeah, tender like loving care, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, uh, they sing that song. Which one? Don't go chasing Or is that Macy Gray? Falls. No, that's... That's uh, TLC. That's TLC. You want to finish on that with the outro? Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, well, let's sing it again and then say goodbye. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Look into the river and the lights that you're used to. Something like that. Okay. Like that. Like that. It is with the outro. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, man. Thank you for uh, tuning in to another episode. We were all over the place. A lot of laughing. A lot of, uh, you know, pauses. Yeah. But, you know, we got through it. You know? And by the way, we're not racist. It was all satire. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> now, yo, that... You gotta do that. Forgot to, every time, bro. forgot to put that in before we said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have hit them with disclaimer first. Yeah, disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> you can disclaim. Yeah, yeah. disclaim. Yeah. We got you guys. Got you guys. You guys, peace out, man. Hold oh, it down. P O P. Hold it down. I was gonna make a joke, but it was gonna be so racist. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it.